today. I'm going to do a quick little video today on our other bike that I don't usually get to do videos on. I have a couple things I'm gonna change out on it. It's getting that time of year where we always are doing safety checks on it just because it's getting warmer outside, which means we're gonna be out on the bikes much more and we just wanna make sure we're safe. So for today's project, I do have a primary cover that I'm gonna change out. I just did a video about a week ago um, changing out our other bike's primary cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this one out just to update it. And then I have a master cylinder sealed gasket that's leaking. So we're gonna go ahead and change that out. That way we know that it's not going to leak onto our paint and ruin the paint or risk not having proper brakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and get started. And the first thing I'm gonna do is work on the primary cover down here. And I just have to remove the hardware on it and just quickly change it out. So let's go ahead and get started. Just have to loosen these. I have one, two, three, four, five of them that I'm taking out and then I'll just be able to put the new cover on. the cover removed but before I need to go any farther I want to show you guys something really quick in my video that I did last week I mentioned that there could be two different types of gaskets that you might have to use depending on what kind of cover you're putting back onto your bike in our particular bike the cover that I just took off it actually has the flat gasket on it because on the back of my cover I don't have a groove on it unlike the new cover that I am putting on it does have a groove on it so I'm going to go ahead and put the o-ring o-ring style gasket on it and then I'm going to remove this flat cover so I just wanted to share with you guys what that the flat gasket did look like since I had it on this particular bike so yeah I'm just going to remove this and then I'm going to wipe off oil and keep on installing the new cover so I have the new gasket installed on the cover I do want to mention though if you wanted to you could have used a gasket like this for that cover if you, that's what you would have preferred and to install that on um, the one that i took off it does tell you it gives you directions so this one says towards the clutch so when you would have put this back on a, a, a new version of it i would have installed it like this before i put the the cover on but since i had the the gasket and i went ahead and used the gasket now all i have to do is just go ahead and realign it up to the holes and put back in my hardware. So that's the next step. So I have the cover fully installed and I just wanna share with you guys really quick what I did. Super easy process. I reinstalled the hardware on it and then just made it snug and then using a star pattern, I went back in with my torque wrench and did it in increments of a 30 inch pound, a 60 inch pound, and then a 90 inch pound just to make sure I was evenly secure all the way around. So yeah, just a simple, quick little process to change out this cover. You know, looking at it, I think that it looks really great. What do you guys think? Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the real reason why I was out in the garage, which, was, which is to change out the master cylinder cover because it's leaking and I don't want to damage my paint on the spike. So let's go ahead and start that project. I have the bike repositioned so I can show you guys better in the video what I'm getting ready to do. Again, I'm changing out the master cylinder cover because it was leaking and it looks like a pretty easy process. I just have two screws on the top that I need to remove. I do want to mention, this is not a video to show you how to do it or an instructional video. This is just me out in the garage tinkering and learning about motorcycles and having fun. So if you are getting ready to do a project like this on your own, again, this is not an instructional video. Be sure to check your owner's manual or consult your mechanic on how to do it properly. But for me right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these two top screws, remove the cover and go ahead and change it out with my new one. Okay, so I do have the cover completely off and I do have to tell you guys, I had to have a little bit of help because once I took out the screws, the cover was pretty stuck and I was afraid to try to pull on it and then I have a huge mess with the brake fluid because I know how corrosive the brake fluid is, which is why I also have a very heavy towel placed on the tank to help prevent it from eating away that paint because I do know how much it will eat that paint if I got any on it. I also, another step that I did to help keep things more secure for me with this particular bike, the handlebars move very easily and want a jackknife. So 
We use some ratchet straps to help just kind of secure the handlebars. That way they couldn't easily twist on me when I was undoing the screws to also prevent a huge mess with the brake fluid. So I do have it off. All I need to do now is I have the new cover in my hand and I want to point out really quick. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it in holding up. It is kind of an angle, like I have a thick edge down here and it goes a little thinner. When you take off your previous cover, you need to really pay attention to some of those details. That way when you put it back on, you have it correctly put on. That way it'll seal the way it needs to and you don't have to worry about any future leaks. So I know that my cover needs to go like this. The next step for me is just to simply put on the cover and to tie in back the screws up and then I have this cover replaced and hopefully no more leaks in the future and have to worry about ruining my paint. So that's the final step I need to do. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have the cover completely installed and everything taken off the bike again. Just a fun little video today while I was out in the garage tinkering and trying to learn how to do things for myself. I know I haven't done a whole lot on this particular bike in the past, but um, I do want to mention with the particular paint job, my buddy that did it was a phenomenal job on it. I can show you the fender on it, and then maybe in the future video, I can give you more details about this particular bike and explain some of the history behind it. Um, again, just a fun little video out here. I do have Thunder on the Beach coming up in a couple weeks. That's at Panama City Beach. Looking forward to being out on the bike in the sunshine and just being able to have my toes in the sand. Looking forward to being out there riding. I can't thank you guys enough for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. You know, drop a comment or two. I always love to hear from you guys and respond back to you guys. But until next time, I'm gonna go ahead and end it for now so that I can go ahead and get cleaned up. But definitely wanna thank you guys for watching. And until next time, have fun and stay safe.